everybody today in maths we are adding up to 20 by counting on so we're adding by counting on so we've used these before at school but we're now going to go all the way up to 20. so i've attached to the email a sheet of paper that's got things on them that look like this okay things that look like this on them so the first let's do one together and then you can have a go so if we, if we read the number sentence, then we can work out where, where they're going to go. So, first there were five counters. So, I've not got counters. I'm going to use pasta. But just to pre-warn you, I folded my paper so that I didn't have to print out the sheet. And they are a bit roly-poly. So, if I lose any, give me a shout because a couple might roll off the desk. <laughs> okay, so, first there were five counters. So, how many have I got to begin with? Five, well done. First, there were five counters. So, where do I need to put my five pieces of pasta? I need to put them in the first column, well done. So, if you lay them out nicely, you'll be able to double check them. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, first, there were five counters. Then, eight more were added. So where do I need to put? So then eight more were added. So I'm going to put eight somewhere. Where do I put the eight? In the middle, well done. I'm going to put eight counters or pieces of pasta in the middle. In the then column, because that's the question. First, there were five counters, then eight more were added. So I'm going to put my eight pieces of pasta in the column, in the column. It says then. So I've got four, five, six, seven, eight. So four and four equals eight. So first there were five counters. Double check I'm right. First there were five counters. Have I got five in my first column? Well done. I have. So first there were five, then eight more were added. Have I got eight? Yes, well done. So I've got eight in my then column. So first there were five counters, then eight more were added. Now there are counters. So we need to work out how many counters there are in total. And the way we can do that is we can put so five counters because we need to work out how many we've now got. So first we had five, then we had, then eight more were added, so I've got five. How many, what do I need to add now? Eight, well done, because first there were five, then eight more were added. So I'm going to add eight on now. And then, whoop, they nearly went roly-poly. We can count how many we've got in total. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so first there were five counters. Eight more were added. First there were five, then eight more were added. Now we can count how many we've got now in our now column, can't we? Because we've filled it in. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Well done, that was brilliant. So, I can write that on there. First, there were five counters, then eight more were added. Now, there are, how many did we say? 13, well done, so 13. Can you see how I've filled it in like that? So first, there were five counters, then eight more were added. Now, there are, 13 counters, so 13 counters. So we filled in all of our columns so that we can work out what the answer is. So you can see there. Brilliant, okay? If you've not got a printer, you can just read those questions off the screen. They don't need to be printed out, so don't worry. Okie dokie, so you have a go now. I'd like you to have a go at doing five of those questions. So five, get the person that's helping you to pick five to read to you and then you can work them out like this. Brilliant. 
I will see you very soon. Bye, 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 bye.